What's up guys, it's Scares here, and today I'm gonna talk about other people's business and make money off of it. Yay! <laughs> no, it's Leopold the Brave, not Scares, thank goodness. <clears throat> Anyways, what's up guys, this is another episode commentary where I have prepared nothing to talk about as usual. Woo! So, Ermac vs. Tatsumaki. It was... It was a pretty interesting idea. Um, because they're so... Ch Telekinesis is just, like, such a cheap power, so it was fun to have a match where both of them use use it heavily. But Tatsumaki's just better in the telekinetic area, which is what matters for this fight, I guess, so she managed to claim the win. Ermac is really cool, though. He's one of my favorite characters in Mortal Kombat. I use him all the time in MKX. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else is there to talk about? One Punch Man, that's a thing I like sometimes, maybe. Yeah. Wow, I really did not prepare anything. Um, so yeah, the reason this came out so quick... Um, usually I have an episode, then I wait two days and do the episode commentary on the second day, then I wait two more days and then do another episode. But this time, the, this episode came right after the episode commentary. Like, Kirby vs. Pop's commentary was on Sunday, and then this episode came out on Monday. Um, I was already pretty much in the editing phase for this one by the time Kirby vs. Pop's came out, so... I had it done pretty... Ugh, ugh, early. Sorry, I'm dying here. Like every episode commentary. I'm very gaseous. Um... Um, so let's talk about the next fight while I think of something tier that'll come to me. Because I, I still want to talk about Ermac vs. Tatsubaki, but nothing's coming to me. It's ju It just is what it is. It's an episode. Um, but next is Knuckles vs. Ryu. Um, I think it's a really cool matchup. I think it's super under a super underrated matchup because people only tend to put fighting game characters with other fighting game characters for some reason, and it's lame. They should be able to branch out and fight any character as well. Like, um, like last episode, Armak versus Tatsumaki. It was fighting game character versus anime character, and that was super cool. You guys liked it a lot. It got a lot of views. It got a thousand views in 24 hours. Not many of my episodes do that, so that's really cool. Um, so yeah, Knuckles versus Ryu should be a really fun and cool matchup. And I kind of did it on purpose too, because my people are like, um, when Eggman lost, they're like, Oh, you hate Sonic, you hate Sonic, you're biased against Sonic, you made Sonic lose because you hate him. You made a Sonic character lose. Ugh. And then when Street Fighter, or Akuma versus Heihachi came out, people were like, Oh, you hate Street Fighter, you're biased against Street Fighter, so... Now it's a Street Fighter vs. Sonic fight, so come on, comment section. Which do I hate more? How biased am I, comment section? <laughs> oh, I put them in a mental crisis. This is gonna be great. This is gonna be a great episode. <clears throat> so, we're gonna find out which one I hate more, because that's apparently what matters, not the research, right? <clears throat> nah, but Knuckles is my favorite Sonic character, and Ryu's like... my second favorite Street Fighter character. <laughs> Akuma's my favorite, but... No one will believe that, because he lost, right? <laughs> Let's see, I still can't think of anything for Ermac vs. Tatsumaki to talk about. Mm. Mm, this is going to be a really short episode commentary. Oh yeah, there was a new intro. I had a new intro, and nobody, nobody commented on it. The new intro was supposed to be held until episode 20, because I was going to have a new intro every 10 episodes. But then I was like, nah, it'll get predictable. I'll just surprise them whenever I decide to use a new intro. And plus, this new intro is super exciting, and I couldn't wait to use it. But some people are actually asking what the song is. How do you, how do you people not know Through the Fire and Flames by Dragon Force? How do you not know that song? That is a legendary song. You, ha you guys have no culture. You are uncultured swines. What is wrong with you? <clears throat> so yeah, the new intro is really cool. I copyright tested it like crazy just to make sure it was safe, and it was because I heavily edited it like crazy. I increased the tempo, increased the pitch, uh, mixed the vocal track with the instrumental instead of just the full thing as it is so I can make the instruments fade in and out. And it just worked out really good, and I'm really glad you guys liked the intro. Um, well, like it while you can, because who knows when my mind will change again and I make a new one. 
because I really do like making these intros, but I'd like them to also be as hype as they can possibly be, so I do my best to make sure that they're more exciting than the last one. Sadly, I did not get as good of a reaction for this one as I did for the last one. I mean, the last time I made the new intro, the second intro, people went crazy. They are like, this new intro is amazing. It is the greatest. And this one is just sort of, eh, it's cool. Which I don't get, because it's through the fire and flames, guys. It's through the fire and flames. How is it not the greatest thing of all time? It makes no sense. But yep, anyways, that's all I have to talk about. That was Ermac vs. Tatsumaki. Up next is Knuckles vs. Ryu. And that was the talk about the intro. I have nothing else to say. Um, so, I guess that's the end of this commentary. Bye.